got all of them, kind of them coming up in here. I just wish I could pick people out. It's kind of rough and tough. But anyway, 266. We'll start them back on the side. Ten rounds on that man. Well, you're wall to wall, tree top tall down here, dude. And I imagine you got a bunch of radios locked up down there. I don't know if you got them locked up as tight down there as you got them right here, but uh, I guarantee you, tell you one thing: you broadcasting, my friend. Mouse, you broadcasting like a big dog around Canton, Ohio, there, Tempo. How about you there, Mister Two Six? Yeah, 10 Roger on that, man. Yeah, 63 Bravo, pay attention to the sound I'm playing in the room, man. You'll see what's going on. You'll hear it. You keyed up with him again, ain't no doubt. But uh, there you go. That's what's up. A lot of your man got all down. Yeah, 320, go ahead. I just want to get my knees and breathe and wave at you one more time. It's been a while since I talked to you, audio man Frankenstein, 320 Midwest. Roger D on that there. What's going on out there, man? I heard you uh, doing some kind of tune-up job out there. What's going on with all that there, Frankenstein? Come on down. No, dude, sounds great. Roger D on that, man. Appreciate it, without a doubt. Yeah, I'll try to look into it, man. You know, I don't get into a whole lot of that stuff. You know, I, I, when I get online, I basically just go on Zam Talk every now and then. I'll bounce over and uh, Pal Talk, see what's going on over there. But, you know, Facebook, how often do you see me in there, bro? I roll in, I check this out, and that fast I roll out. <laughs> But either way, there, Mr. Frankenstein, you're doing a fine job. No peels, no squeals, all good deals, without a doubt. Frankenstein, keep up the good work on your end there. Pro 10. on that there, Frankenstein. You need any help, dude. If you need any help, man, just come look me up in Sam Talk. I'll help you out in any way I can. I uh, helped 144 out yesterday, uh, you know, down in Florida. Helped him with his, uh, what the heck was that? Uh, uh, Sigma, or Sigma, I can't remember the name of it. One antenna he's got, and uh, he wanted a little help with it. I got him all straightened out, man. He called me up tonight, and he's like, man, this duck plug is working good. I said, well, good. <laughs> Little audio man modification to that doggone antenna there. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, I mess with all of them, you know. I mainly build the full wave stuff. That's really what I'm into. But, you know, someone gets a half wave ground plane or something like that. I don't care what it is, man. You know, someone comes to me with a question. If I got an answer, I'll give it to you. And if I don't have an answer, I say, man, I ain't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, but uh, I get lucky every now and then. I'll leave it at that. You know, I don't. I don't care to boast and brag. I know a little bit of something about antennas, though. But uh, either way, Frankenstein, you're still doing that number, man. You're still doing that number. Rocking you, you can't in Ohio. Dude, come here. All right, man. Yeah, I can't. It's kind of an odd-looking antenna. It's hard to explain. 
saying, but uh, I just got a picture on uh, keepthekeydowncommunications.com. Yeah, Roger, DR. It's a ground plane or is that a beam? What you got going on? What are you talking about there, Frankenstein? Is it a beam or a ground plane or what? What'd you say it was there, uh, Frankenstein? What kind of antenna? on the small fry. All right, let me get on out of the way. Frankenstein, take care, man. Have a real good night. And uh, you know where to find the videos on YouTube, I'd imagine, by now. Hey, Frankenstein, audio man. Little week radio around Canton, Ohio, with the video gate done. I'm gone.